and welcome to Nani Notes. Well, here's the instructions for our classic demonstration of the Pythagorean theorem. I gave you a diagram here of a, well, a triangle, right triangle with legs of A and B and hypotenuse C. And all you see all these rays that are um, extended uh, perpendicular to the given sides. So, um, well, you get to measure, so you get to use your ruler, you get to use your calculator and your compass. Get your money's worth. So yeah, let's do some measuring. Now, I don't know, you may have to line up with a one if it's gummy on the end or you're gonna line up this way. I recommend the metric ruler. Why? Because I made it so it works out nicely. What is that? Is that one? Well, you could say that. Or is that two or 20 uh, millimeters, three centimeters or 30 millimeters. This looks like 40 and what is that? Halfway there, how about 45? I'll let you measure the rest. You can measure the other sides. And, you know, we're just going to demonstrate something that you've probably seen this diagram before, but it's so much fun. And plus, we have to use our compasses for something. So we're going to um, gap our compass, the distance of A, and give it a swing like that. Oh, beauteous. You got that? All right, then flip that compass over. Let's gap it the other way and give it another swing. You see how that goes? All right, so... See what we're doing? We're going to generate two points of intersection. So we've done this before, but um, well, now we're, we're doing it again. And we know that if this is the distance from here to here, I call A, we've just transferred that distance here, and we've transferred that distance here. In the end, it's also here too, because we've generated a square. So we actually made a square out of this figure. Hey, that's kind of fun. So, um, well, let's keep the ball rolling. Um, and we're just going to take our compass, we're going to gap it this way, put the needle here, and we're going to transfer that B distance. See that? That's the B distance. And flip that compass around. We ought, ought to be used to this by now. We've done several constructions. And look at that. Heavens, Tom Mergentroid's just like last time we've generated two points of intersection. And what are we going to do there? Well, let's mark them. I know that this is the distance I'll call B from here to here. And that's the distance from here to here. We've transferred that distance with a compass wing there. And again, I made a square. Very nice. So, and you got those two. You know what to do next. So go ahead and gap your compass for the hypotenuse and give it a swing. Now that's a big one. Look at that. Nicely done. Reverse your compass, gap it the other way, give it a swing like that, and you know what you got. You know that you're going to got you're going to have two intersections, one there, one there. Take out your Sammy straight edge and line them up. We know this distance, we'll call C, is the same as this distance. It's the same as this distance. It's the same as this distance. Well, I'm not going to show you the answers because you, you got to be able to figure that out yourself. But come on, you measured these. You measured A. You measured B. You measured C. And now we've got these squares here. And shade them in if you want to visualize it. And just take those numbers and square them. You have the area of the blue square, the area of the green square, the area of the red square. And go ahead, add them up. See if this area plus this area does indeed add up to this one. I hope it does. Until next time, this is Nani Notes.